Kids Life. This morning, we're going to be talking about a man named Mordecai. Now, Mordecai is a family member of Esther, and he is known for something that is very important. It's standing up for things even when it's not the popular thing to do. Now, if you're like me, that is very, very difficult. Let's say I was walking on the sidewalk and I noticed something on the ground. When I approach it, I realize it's a wallet. When I open the wallet up, I see that there's a driver's license with identification for that person who lost their wallet, and I find a lot of money. Now this money is particularly intriguing to me because I like to buy things. I like to buy toilet paper. You know, we all need it. I like to buy hand sanitizer because the germs are out there, guys. We gotta be safe. So I'm left with a problem. I want the money, but I also know that that money doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the owner of the wallet. Hey, I think I found your wallet. In the Bible, God tells us to tell the truth and to respect others. That means I should do the right thing and return the wallet, even though I want to buy some of my favorite things. I know that God would want me to give the wallet back to its owner. Now, our friend Mordecai didn't find a wallet on the street. He knew information about someone else that could potentially harm them. But you know what? He didn't stay silent. He did what God asked him to do. He was brave and courageous, even when it wasn't popular. He did the right things. So remember kids, that Mordecai helps us to learn a lesson that doing the right thing, like returning the wallet to its owner and not buying our favorite things, is the right thing to do. It's honoring God, it's obeying his commands. So dare to be a Mordecai this week, guys. Dare to do the right thing because God commands you to.